Hey everyone, welcome to day six of the seven day bad yogi yoga challenge with me, Erin Motz. Today's class is yoga for upper body strength. A lot of you ask for this one often, so I thought it would be really fun to actually do it. Now, it is tough, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's challenging, but I'll give you plenty of options to modify down if you need to and modify up if you need to. So whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and start in child's pose. So bring your hands about shoulder width apart feet together, knees wide, and slide the hips back. So we'll just take a second to open up the shoulders a little bit, walk the hands out, and take the forehead down. Now you can keep the elbows bent slightly so that you don't overdo it right off the bat. Go ahead and come up to the hands and knees, feet tucked under, knees under the hips, and the hands under the shoulders. We'll take a few rounds of cat-cow. So as you exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone, drop the head. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhaling round, press the floor away. Think of rounding through the upper back. And inhale, pull through. We'll take a few more, three more each way. And as usual, you can shift around a little bit if that feels good. One more. Then come back to neutral. So we're gonna come right into plank pose. Now, of course, if plank is a little bit too much, you can always keep the knees down. So I'll give you options as we go, if you need a little bit less or if you need a little bit more. So bring the wrists under the shoulders, tuck the toes under and come right to a plank. So I'm gonna time you, but I want you to take a second before we actually begin and just notice where the hips go in your plank. So as much as we're focusing on the upper body, it's also important not to compromise form just because we're not focusing on the core. So as you're here, try to make sure that you're not popping the hips too far up or sinking them down so the back caves in. You want to cinch the waist in so that you feel really strong, really secure, and kind of um, supported by the core and the center of the body. So if you can't maintain that with, uh, without compromising one way or the other, then you can always keep the knees down. Or as we go, you can drop the knees, bring them back up, drop them, etc., so that you have... Um, little breaks as you need. So now, for real this time, <laughs> if you're ready, we will plank in three, two, one, and plank. So again, cinch the waist back, find one point to focus on on your mat. And isn't it funny how when we have a specific focus, like I said, we're working on the shoulders, and do you feel your shoulders more than you normally do in <laughs> plank? Because I totally do. I feel like nothing else is working except my shoulders right now. <laughs> Remember to breathe. And in things like this, when we're holding for longer, I promise you always have a little bit more strength in you than you think you do. So when you feel like you absolutely cannot hold it anymore, see if you can take two more breaths and notice that you actually have it in you. <laughs> Shifting your hips side to side sometimes works. Also gives a little extra core work. We're being sneaky today. Take four more breaths, slow breaths. Now keep your plank. As you exhale, take the right elbow down, take the left elbow down. You're still in a plank, but now you're on your forearms. Now you're gonna push back up. So take left hand down, right hand down. We're gonna keep walking. Right elbow down, left elbow down. Drop the knees if you need to. Come back up to the right, back up to the left. We're gonna go for five. So once down and once up is one. That's five. Down, up, four, down, up, three, 
down. <laughs> I know, I feel it too. Up, <laughs> two, last one, down. Up, one, hold, hold, hold. Knees down, feet together, knees apart. Child's pose. Breathe. If your shoulders are really tired, it might even help to walk the arms behind you. And it kind of lets the shoulders relax. Take two more breaths. And come on up. So now adding on something different. You're gonna keep the knees down for this one. And if you end up needing more, I'll give you an option. If you're like really a superhero with this stuff, <laughs> shifting your weight forward, make sure the wrists stay under the shoulders. We're gonna do, when we, whenever we flow, when we do like chaturanga and up and back down dog, we're gonna do just the chaturanga push-ups. So think tricep push-ups in this case. Shifting your weight forward. You're gonna lower halfway and press up. Now notice that the elbows are in. So as you come down, the elbows graze the ribs and you stop at 90 degrees, come back up. So what you want to avoid is dipping the chest so far down that you're pitching the shoulders up and the elbows up, but you actually want to stop at that 90 degree angle. So we're going to go for eight of those push-ups. Now if you need a lot more work, <laughs> you can tuck the toes and push up straight down and back up. Otherwise, knees down and here we go. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. One. Sit up and back. Child's pose. Again, arms can wrap around. Now I know that a lot of this feels really difficult to do by itself when you're just doing it uh, for strengthening purposes, but I promise you, as you start to work up to different inversions and arm balances, it's gonna be something that we really benefit from. So don't skimp on the strength. Come back up. Something different, okay? You're gonna come to your side and your right forearm is gonna come down. So elbow under the shoulder is the last thing we're doing. Hooray. <laughs> elbow under the shoulder and then come to a side plank. So as you're here, you're gonna drop the hip and come back up. And we're gonna go for eight on each side. So when you're ready, make sure elbow lines up under shoulder, lift the hips. Dip, lift, dip, lift, seven, Six, five, take it higher, four, three, two, one, come down. Now flip over, same thing, other side. Left forearm down, palm is flat, if, you, if that helps you stabilize, left elbow under the shoulder. Lift the hips, and here we go for eight. Dip, lift, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, come onto your stomach, tuck the toes, sit back, child's pose. Look up here. We're gonna combine all of that and do it all at once kind of right in succession with the other. So starting in your plank, I had to think about that one. <laughs> I'm delirious from all the shoulder work. <laughs> starting in your plank, we're gonna come up and down, do those elbow walks like we did earlier. We're gonna do them eight times. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, six, five, four, Three, 
two, one. Take your knees down, child's pose. Take a breath. Come back up. Knees down, tricep push-ups. Make sure the elbows hug the body close. Exhale, we're just doing six. Up, five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose. And come back up. Right forearm down, eight on each side. Palm faces down, it'll add stability. Lift the hips. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip it over. Left side down, left forearm down, palm faces the mat. Lift and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, child's pose. Release the shoulders. Any variation of child's pose works. Go ahead and sit up. Just sit comfortably. I want you to interlace the fingers behind the back. We'll just stretch for a second. <laughs> so interlace the hands, press the palms together, roll the shoulders back. Think of puffing the chest up towards the sky and reach the hands away from you. Roll the head side to side. Take the right arm in front of you, cross it over like old school PE. <laughs> and just switch. Left arm in front of you. And take it down. Face me. We'll take a few moments of meditation. Relax. Let the shoulders drop. Let the breath slow down. And feel free to stay here if you need more time. Otherwise, when you're ready, inhale, pick the arms up. Exhale the hands together. Bring them right down to the heart center. And let the eyes blink open. Namaste. So there you have it, day six of your yoga challenge. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Now make sure you're all signed up for the Bad Yogi Club, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hi everyone, I just wanted to drop in and thank you again for doing this class with me. For more yoga classes and other fun stuff like articles and blog posts, make sure you subscribe to the Bad Yogi Club and I will see you there.